a meaningful occasion. And all week long, the football chatter has centred around this game and these talented teams. Which one will outwit the other in a packed and passionate stadium? So many questions to be answered on a day of destiny. Don't go anywhere. All the action next. Good evening to you from a city that has become one of Germany's most visited in recent years. We're in Leipzig. I'm Derek Ray and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Germany versus the Netherlands. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Oh, fine stop. One terrific save after another. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Mark andre Ter Stegen in goal. Niklas Zule starts with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide positions. And the focal point in attack is Thomas Müller. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Nathan Ake in central defence. And in attack for this match, it's Memphis Depay. And what can they do to stop him running at them? Long way out, this. Emre Can loses out. Kimi. Possibilities inside the box. Müller. Now with Gunduan. Still can be dangerous. On a time for composure on the ball. Virgil van Dijk. And well positioned to clear. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Dumfries getting forward the pie is still there for him oh great defending Florian Beards oh he's lost possession Crossing possibilities. Clattered away. <laughs> and over comes the corner. And that is a defender doing his job, clearing it off the line. And a big moment because the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty coming up. This to make it 1-0. And he finds the net. No difficulties encountered. Well, let's take another look. He chooses the right way to dive, but it's a good penalty because it's the height that beats him as it goes above him. And so Germany get the ball moving again. Can they find a response here? Good move in the making from Germany. 
but timely defending when it mattered. A really good pass. Müller. Return to Gnabry. And space to cross it. Just wanted to get it out of there. Making a bit of headway. Takes it on! Well, in the final analysis, not quite precise enough. Goal kick here. Gakpo Van Dijk with it Martin De Roon moving the ball forward with purpose and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end well they've won themselves a corner and a chance perhaps to add an additional goal for security Taken short. Ake. Well, the shot more than decent. It had power, just couldn't find the target. Joshua Kimmich. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Committed challenge. Well, getting very close to the half time interval, and it's a narrow lead for the visitors to this point. Stuart, how would you assess what we've seen? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going in at half-time if it stays like this. Sané. Plenty of support here. Müller. Great reflection from the keeper. He did brilliantly there. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? <laughs> and deciding to go short with this one. Lorian Wirtz. Ake has it. Gakpo. Daily Blind. There's the cut back. Real chance. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, let's look at this again. He's done superbly well to pick out a teammate here. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Rudiger. 
And so it is half time. The first half action is over here at the Red Bull Arena. Well, I think Memphis is perfectly entitled to feel happy with the performance he has put in, Stuart. Well, he's looked sharp, hasn't he? Yes, he scored a good goal, but his general play has been excellent. I've enjoyed watching him today. And back underway. No sugarcoating this one. A big gulf between the sides in the first half. Will we see a response from Germany in the second? Daily Blitz. Gakpo. Depay. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Now sending it in. Simple save, really. Well, this looks really productive. What can they do from this position? De Jong. Onto Depay. Nicely timed tackle. Florian Wirtz. On the ball, Rüdiger. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Not a great challenge, free kick here. Well, a judgment call for the referee. Many an official would have cautioned him. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And playing it through. Daily Blind. Looking for the right angle. And reading it absolutely superbly. And dribbling with it, but out of play. And into the last 30 minutes now. Emre Chan has given it away. Doing well to keep possession. Martin Deron. And the shot. Well, good clean catch by the keeper. Joshua Kimmich. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Sané. It was an excellent example of how to break at pace. Well, that's counter-attacking football at its best. They switch on so quickly when they win the ball back. It deserved a goal. Frankie de Jong, Malen with it. Malen, they've given it away. Havertz, Kimmich, and very deftly cut out. Excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. De Jong, no degree of difficulty at all for the keeper.
the referee correct. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. De Jong. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Well, as he hit that one, it looked as though it had a chance. This has been a top-class display today. Just look how many chances they've created. And if they want to, they could score a hat full of goals here. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Florian Wirtz. Benjamin Henrichs. Kimmich. Now with Zule. Gundogan. Zule. Havertz. The supporters want to see him have a go. He's blocked it! Virgil van Dijk. De Ligt. And the pie on the ball. Well, the referee allowing the play to flow. Well, the advantage didn't really accrue to them, and so it's going to be a free kick. And they will make the change now. Gundogan. Well, great read there to intercept. The pie. And it's with Dumfries. Space on the flank. A fine reading of the situation. Marlin. Well read to put an end to that attack. Jamal Musiala. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Now, can they take advantage? Well, it was a superb counter-attack. Not such high marks for the finish. Well, the build-up to the shot was great. Good defending, quick transition and excellent movement. It just needed a much better finish. Dumfries. And space here on the flank. A chance to whip it in. And there's the full time whistle. A most acceptable outcome from a Netherlands point of view. They've won the game. Stuart, how about your assessment? Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. This performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?